Let's bring in Kayvon Moezi, a Trump supporter working to make the former president's case through comedy. Kayvon, it's great to have you on the show. We appreciate this. I want to play a bit of your stuff, uh, and then we'll talk to you about, uh, you know, some of your comedy. Watch. Love it. Thank you. All we ask is you don't talk about race, religion, politics, gender, sexuality, and don't make direct eye contact with them. <laughs> Other than that, say whatever you want. We're really big into freedom of speech on this campus. I blame the next generation because they're offended by everything now. They've never been through a war, a draft, anything. I'm part of that generation too, but we got to knock off the sensitivity. So what you're saying, Kayvon, is that this generation, including yourself, needs maybe to, you know, toughen up a bit. We have to toughen up. And you know what? I just got done performing for a bunch of college gigs. And they do. They give you a long list of what not to say. And I'm like, <laughs> what happened to freedom of speech? And just George Carlin used to film his comedy specials at colleges because that's where you could say anything. And now it's their safe space. I got shouted out by a girl. She didn't mm -hmm. like what I had to say on stage. And it was one person, but it made quite an impact. It's interesting because you talk about freedom of speech a lot, Kayvon, because your dad is from Iran and therefore very important that free speech is a is a big, I'm sure, a big issue in, in your home, in your household. Well, when you're that close to it, you see what happens in one generation, you could lose it all. So people that have family from Venezuela, Cuba, Iran, they're the ones that kind of can lead the way for Americans and say, be very careful what mm -hmm. you do. This thing is a gift. We're very lucky to have it. And God bless America. And do you wonder, Kayvon, when you talk to people in this country who don't seem to embrace free speech or don't seem to care that some of our free speech rights are being trampled on, are you kind of, uh, are you kind of surprised that they feel like they do? I think it, it's surprising. The youth don't know what they have till it's gone. I'm just trying to warn them, like Paul Revere, don't go there. So when I do my Turning Point shows, we start off by saying, if you get offended easily, please leave. The rest of us are going to have fun. We're going to be open-minded. And then I make fun of everybody equally. And that's not allowed. There are certain groups in college campuses where they say, you know, don't make fun of this group or that one. I make fun of Leah Thomas because that's a man who became a woman and is now mm -hmm. winning. I say we should have men's sports, women's sports, and a new category, the X-Men or the Transformers, <laughs> but something different so we can all get yeah. along here. Yeah, you talk about going after everybody. One of those everybody's is, of course, Kamala Harris. Uh, you go after her quite a bit, all in good fun, I'm sure, but, but there's a few jabs here and there, correct? What I love about Kamala is anytime you ask her any question, she just goes back to her origin story. Let me be clear, Trace, I'm from a middle class family, not the top and not the bottom, right there in the middle. I used to go to school, sit in the middle of the bus, and we'd have a middle class meal, and then we'd watch Malcolm in the Middle. It's my favorite show. <laughs> Now, tell me about the Trump McDonald's thing, because you know that's got to be working its way into your act a little bit. Right, Kayvon? Well, he's McDonald Trump. I mean, the guy went from the Golden Tower to the Golden Arches, and he made it look so good. He's making McDonald's cool again. Like, people are still yeah. going. They're seeing a big, a lot of sales there. And this guy can go anywhere, and he's always Donald Trump. Everywhere he goes, it's going to be great, fantastic. He probably gave the best Happy Meals. And by the way, the ice cream machine, it's totally working now. No problem. <laughs> you know, it's interesting because you, the, are the voices, are there more as part of your act as you go on and on? Do you kind of do everybody? Well, you have to learn everybody, I mean, how right? How can we forget Dr. Fauci? Get your boosts, <laughs> wear your mask. I like how they made us get on an airplane six feet apart and then sit shoulder to shoulder with our mask I, on. You had to wear the mask until the pretzels arrived. Then you could take it off for pretzel time. COVID took a pretzel break. Yeah, COVID did. We, we were amazed at that. Yeah, yeah six feet apart and yeah. then right, you know, cheek to jowl. We don't care. The whole flight, five hours. Who cares? Kayvon exactly. Mwezi, great to have you on the show. We hope to see you again, sir. Uh, keep the comedy coming. It. It's a great relief for what's happening in the world today. Thank you. And, and by the way, anyone watching, I'm going to give some free tickets to my show. First 20 people who find me on Instagram. DM me, the half Persian. Yeah, the half Persian. Got it. Uh, Kayvon Mwezi, we appreciate your time. Thank you, sir.